come to part three. Um, here we get into this section which we call featured. We have within featured four different diffs, one, two, three, four. But these three down here are going to do the same thing, but the top one is going to do something different. We want it to align to the right. So I'm going to go and create one class separately for just that particular div. Uh, I can select that and give it an ID name and use that name um, quick links. Okay, so Q, I'll just call it Q underscore links. Okay, so just quick links or something of the sort. Right, uh, with that name, I'll click on new CSS rule and type that name in the uh, hash Q underscore links and I'll click on OK. Um, I want that to occupy about 40% of the space in that area, so I'll type 40%. Um, also, I need that to float to the right, so when I click on apply, you see that moves to the far right. Um, I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to create a class for these other ones. So those are the professors. So I'll just click on that and create a new class. So I'll go and select class and type dot for classes. You use dot and I'll call it profs. So just prof. OK. And I'll click on OK. For the profs, I want them to occupy about 60% of the space uh, because the whole box is 100%, so 60%, so those ones will be on the left, and I want them to float to the left. Okay, when I click on apply and okay, nothing really happens. I have to select each of them and apply the class to it. So apply class prof to it, and you'd see that that aligns. So apply class prof to it, and apply class prof to it. Okay, so we have them right here. Uh, and they work in the way we expect them to to work. I've gone ahead to backspace the text that you have in this. So we have Clara Schultz and she's the math professor. Um, I want to create classes and apply them to the names. So the names sort of are highlighted in, let's say, a different color and that will be a different color. So um, I'll just go in here. So again, for a class, you create a new CSS rule to go and choose class. You want to type dot and here um, I'll type prof underscore names, okay, uh, because I already have something called prof, so I'll call prof names, and I'm going to use the prof names to create a style. Largely, I'm going to give it just a different color, so something like uh, maybe this color here, and I'm going to um, go and increase the size a little bit to let's say 14 or maybe 16 there about if depend on how big or small you may want that all right so i'll click and okay let me let me make this i'll make this say 14 and make it bold so just bold and i'll click on okay now what i can do is i can now select each of the names right click on it and this is styles and we want to apply prof names okay uh Check how the underscore is not added to it. So just take note, you will not find the underscore added to that. So I'll style these. Right, that's all we need. Um, for this section, I'll leave this out. This I have already provided for you in the first class that we created. Or you can use the same thing as we use here. Just that in the case of this navigation, we floated to the left. In this case, we will not have to float. I'll go ahead and create classes for these other divs, and there are six in all. Um, so I'm going to go and I'll create a new CSS rule. So here I am going for a class, and I'll call it dot students. Okay, students highlight or something, but I'm keeping just students just to make this short. Um, I'll go for each of them. I want them to fill. Uh, so there are 16 all, so each of them will fill about 16.66 okay, uh, percent or 66.67 um, percent. So I would keep them floated to the left and I may want them to also be centered on within a content. So text align center. And I'll click on apply and okay. All I need to do now is select each of them, right click on it and go and look for students and apply that to it. So select that 
right click look for students and apply to it so by way of video magic i'll quickly go through this and apply the rest so we would meet right at the end with the bottom section i'm going to create a class for these three and so i'll click on that down here and um for the class i'll call it to so just go down here and choose class i'll call it just dot footer so dot footer and i'm going to click on ok so what i'm going to do is for each of those three boxes i want them to be like 20 percent so you type 20 and remember to put a 20 percent percentage there or just point down here to 20 percent okay and i'll float them to the left i want them also to have uh, so if it's 20 percent that means 60 percent for the three each of them um, then on this left side we want a left margin for each of them to be 10 i'll click on okay right so here we have that um, the next thing we're going to do is to select each of that and right click on it and go to css styles and apply um footer to it so that's down here i'll select that right click and see the styles and footer and the last one here see the styles and footer to it okay so we'll go ahead and then select the whole of that div we want the div at the bottom to have a black background so with this selected um or you can just click in make sure uh, it's called the footer, so have it selected. We want to style that, and so I'll click on new CSS rule and provide so less specific. Just for that, we want to give it a black background, so background and the color will be black. In this case, you probably want the font to be kind of white or something close to white. I'll choose white to uh, work with, and here we have it. Okay, so with the rest, we're going to style the other. Um, um, sizes so currently the one we've been working on is largely for the desktop so we're going to continue from here on and before we go let's preview what you have in the browser save make sure you save all of those files and that's what we have um, at least we have things kind of working the way we expect it in the um, desktop now let's go on into this so you move on from the desktop view and I'm going to click on the tablet okay in a tablet how do you want them to this to be displayed in the tablet view we'll decide how this is displayed uh within the tablet so i'll click in here and well this we want to stay at the very top so i'll click on the next one here and i want to join the other one at the top but when you click it doesn't join because this is spanning the whole width so i'll click in and resize this i would want them to be half so that takes half of it and click on that and I want that also to take half of it to so four and that moves up. That leaves this one with the rest of the um, um, design down here. So I'll go and click on the arrow here to the left and I'll drag this four. Um, so we have four frames. And so that's what we would want it to look like. That means this area is going to just sit there. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is to find out how much room we want for these other ones and so uh, most likely we probably might want to have them just this way the only thing we may have to be cautious of is how much space we want in between them so we can decide to provide paragraphs so I'm selecting this div right click uh, move my right arrow uh, key and I'll press enter um, or you can go and provide CSS rules and provide let's like, say top margins to them but here I'm just selecting each of them move the right arrow key and press return so i have got some space in there i think that should do um, if there is not enough space down here then probably you might want to do either a similar thing with a paragraph or provide styles as i said earlier on well um we may want to we may want to keep this just as it is so let's preview this also in a browser so we'll click on file and save We'll say yes to all of that and um, currently that's yep that's exactly what we wanted and we have it so the last thing we probably need is the bottom part of this and so we'll go into that looking at this at the bottom here this last one doesn't seem to behave the way I expect it to so I'll find what the problem is I'll click within that div 
and um, I'll click on Dave Wolf. Looking at this, it looks like I have not applied a class student to this yet. So I'll click on the Dave and make sure I apply the class to it. If you have already applied to it, um, then you don't have to. I'm not applying to the whole Dave. I'm applying to the one with this guy in there. So I'm clicking on just the word Dave here. You may have, if you have Dave student highlight, that's a bigger one. So I'm not selecting the bigger one. I'm selecting the smaller one, which has this guy there. I'll right click on that and CSS and I want to apply students to it. Okay. Um, looks like this is also not have it applied. I'll click in just to make sure. Yes, it's not applied to it. So I'll have that selected and I'll right click and I'll choose styles and students. All right. And that sits well. Um, so um, that's also working quite perfectly. Now the lower portion of this, we would have to decide. So there are three and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. So uh, this might be probably um, best to have them because three, there is no way we're going to be able to divide three into eight different columns. So I would leave them one on each column. So that's just the way it's going to look. So let's go ahead and preview this in a browser. I'll click on save. And when we have a desktop, this is what we, we have. Okay, I think with the desktop, we did install the footer. So we'll go and do that. And when I resize this, okay, it gets to that point. We have this begin to resize. Okay, so that's what we have for now. All right, so two column and so that gets into the two columns. So that's working well. The last one we left with, with will be the uh, phone version. And in a phone version, we'll have something more like this kind of one column. So let me go back into the desktop. Realize that when we went to preview, I had um, this not displaying the way. Um, if you recall, we have actually applied the footer class to it. Um, it is because Whilst I was off screen, I did a few undos. So I'm going to apply it to it one more time. So I'll select this particular div and right click on it. Okay. You may have already applied it. Um, I did a few undos and that's why that went away. So I'll right click on that and apply this to it for that one more time. And the last one here. Okay. So that's what we want. So it's working on the uh, desktop view we go in here and um, that's working perfectly well we'll keep that and let's go to the mobile device that's the last one that's left well things look seem to be working quite okay um, here probably except this one this is going beyond I'll click inside and I want it to be one column so I'll click back here to have that again this is doing the same thing I'll click on that and that's fixed and we're looking quite okay here this is also going out of it it's online so i'll click on that to fix it and don't worry about the image they will be fine okay so everything here is working quite the way we expect it to in the event where you may not want to have let's say your navigation or something uh, particular they displaying um let's say on a mobile device for instance so here we're going to hide the navigation on the mobile device okay so i'll select that or maybe have that clicked in and i'll go to the current just to be able to give me an idea where i'm working with uh, i have the styles or the rules that apply to it here i'm going to look somewhere on the right here okay you would find that you would find one of them indicates so with this selected one of them down here indicate display block Okay, so that's a made block. I will double click on that block and I'm going to go into that and display and I'll change that to none. All right, when I click on okay, you see that's gone. Um, so let's see if we find it on a mobile, um, on a desktop. Desktop is there, uh, tablet is there. And when we go into the uh, mobile, it's not available. And so let me preview this and save. I'll save and say yes. And so when you look up there, well, that's not there. But when we expand this, yes, it shows up. And when we go this, it's there. Okay, so um, that, that's it. Yeah, so you can add a few more styles. Thanks very much for watching.